Good afternoon. Today is Thursday, December 17th. Tonight we're going to make some horseradish and some horseradish sauce. But this afternoon we're going to take a look and see how the cold frame did. This is why we plant. Most of the snow has melted off. The weatherman said it's not supposed to get too cold tonight. It's going to be in the 50s tomorrow and the wind's going to be blowing. So I want to have this plastic buttoned up. So let's take a look and see how we did. Now we've had a really hard freeze the last three or four nights. Got beets and lettuce looking like they did okay. Let's see what else we have in here. Now I said we're gonna make horseradish, not radish. I'm gonna eat that one. That's nice. This is why we do this. The coal frame looks like it did its job. And unless the weatherman lied to me, we should be fine tonight. And the radishes seem to be doing okay. Well, let's go ahead and open up the greenhouse. And the roof sort of opened up a little bit and we got a little snow in there. But all in all, it's still nice and green. We'll see. But for the first heavy snow in 11 years, in four or five days, a really hard freeze, we did okay. Now we've been storing this, we've been storing the horseradish fruit in the crisper in the refrigerator. I had a person tell me, it's gonna go soft. It's not, it's already growing. While I was doing research, I got a pretty good little trick. Take a brand new, scrubber pad and I found one with these little grooves in it this fits in just perfect and just clean it on up that way cleaned up most of the roots got the, all the fine hairs off of there and then I believe you just take a knife in any of the dark spots that bother you you just kind of scrape those out now once we start grinding this the enzymes in here will be released and it'll start making it hot. What we're gonna what we're gonna do first is we're just gonna make our horseradish and then we're gonna make our sauces. And that's about as much as I'm gonna scrape it. Let's go ahead and cut it into a few one inch pieces and see if we can't get this blended up. These roots are pretty tough so I'm gonna go ahead and use some kitchen shears. Just cut them into little pieces. It looks like it's getting there. Whoo! And it is strong. Now we're going to go ahead and make three different sauces. Grandpa Bill Ryder used to like all three of these. And then whatever's left over, we'll just leave this horseradish. But I got to taste this and see if it's up to snuff. I'm going to go small here. That's not, yeah, it's got a little kick to it. That's not too bad though. Um, this is gonna be good. For this first sauce, we're gonna use a half a cup of horseradish, and then we're gonna use a half a cup of cream. You can use sour cream if you'd like.
half a cup of heavy cream. We're also going to use a half a cup of mayonnaise. Half a cup of mayonnaise. We're going to use two tablespoons of lemon. Now I'm cheating. I didn't have any fresh lemons to squeeze. That's about right. One teaspoon of salt. And a quarter teaspoon of ground black pepper. Two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. And you just whisk it all together. Let's give that a taste. Oh, that is fantastic. That is great. I think you put that on just about anything. Wow. We'll figure out what kind of jar we're going to put it in when we put it in the refrigerator. That is really good. I think this will go good on any vegetable out of the garden. It will go good on any meat that you cook. This is just very, very good. Now I know why Great Grandpa really liked this. Now this is Great Grandpa Ryder's honey mustard horseradish. And when he got low, he would holler out to Great Grandma, Hilda, we running out of horseradish? And then he'd run down to the cellar, get a root, come up and grind it up. So this is a quarter cup of mustard, four tablespoons of honey. He always kept bees, so he always had fresh honey. And then we want one tablespoon of horseradish, one tablespoon of lemon juice, half a teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of black pepper. We're going to do a quarter cup of vinegar about a quarter cup of olive oil. I hadn't thought of it, but this looks like salad dressing also. Now that's, that's a lot better than our first go around with this. You may want to use a different kind of mustard than what we used in this recipe in these proportions. That mustard was very strong the vinegar was very strong. So I went ahead and doubled the amount of honey and I added another tablespoon of horseradish. The olive oil mellows it out pretty good. The honey cut the vinegar taste and the mustard taste and it's quite a bit better. Depending on what you're putting it on, this might be a good one. Yeah, if you really like mustard and if you really like vinegar, this one will be really, really good. The first one obviously is more cream and mayonnaise and it's quite a bit mellower. This is a lot simpler recipe, but we're going to start off with less ketchup because it calls for one cup and I don't want to overwhelm it to begin with. So let's do a half a cup of ketchup to start with. We've already put one chopped up clove of garlic in here. All right, this calls for two and a half tablespoons of horseradish. And two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. And we'll mix it up and we may have to add some more ketchup or some more horseradish or something. Have just a little quick taste here. See if we need to add any more ketchup. That's like a shrimp cocktail sauce. That's kind of nice. I don't think we're going to add any more ketchup. To recap, we've got just regular ground up horseradish, which we're going to use either as horseradish. We've got a ketchup horseradish sauce, which is more like a shrimp cocktail sauce. We've got a honey mustard sauce that I think would actually go pretty good on some meats. Right here we have our cream and horseradish sauce, and I think this would go good on just about anything. I think it would really be a good dip for any kind of vegetable or a salad dressing a nice side on any plate of hot food that you have. Kind of reminds me of something I think the Pioneer Woman might make. Obviously this is a gardening channel, but we want to highlight what you can make with what you grow out of your garden. And right now, we've got horseradish. 
and I gotta try this again. Now that is nice. I really do think that would go with any vegetable you grow out of your garden. I recommend if you're gonna make one of these, try this creamy one first. If you like it really tangy, the mustard works really well. I'm not a huge fan of the ketchup, and I like ketchup. I didn't know I was gonna like horseradish. This has turned out very, very nice. The radishes that we took out of the cold frame this evening, let's see if this works. That's a big radish. That horseradish works really nice with that radish. So plant some horseradish if you get an opportunity. Turn it into a sauce. What better thing to do on a cold December evening? Thanks for coming to the kitchen. And remember, come on, let's plant. Until next time, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.